Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day. <laughs> Hello. Today is, what is it? January 24th. And this is our global prayer circle. Good morning. Hmm. Hi, everybody. Let me get my green share up. I am moving slow. Look at me. I'm like, click, click. <laughs> I couldn't sleep very well last night. It's like four in the morning. I fell asleep and then I was up at eight. I'm like, what is going on? Cosmos has got me all wired. So all these projects running through my mind. I gotta get this done. I gotta get that. Prayers on all the needs to do's that we all have. So, Rose, is that you yep. as a call-in user? I see we have a call-in user, and I'm suspecting it's Rose, but I might be wrong. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Hi, Rose. Good Yay. Good afternoon. <laughs> so, here we are at our whatever number it's global prayer. And the orders for all of us, right? all of us. Uh, I'm just going to jump right to the honoring because we know what we do. Mm. Take a deep breath into your heart center and share the honoring with me. You can speak it out loud or just hear it inside, however it works for you today. Hold on. I need to take a seat. <laughs> and it's blurry. Oh, yes. There we go. All right. Oh, gratitude of the directions. East, south, west, north above, below, and center. We are honored with this opportunity to co-create in this place. Just take a few deep heart breaths in that place with the direction. In gratitude of the elements, air, fire, water, earth, akasha. We're honored with the building blocks that provide foundation. Breathing with that for a moment. In gratitude of time, past, present, future, we are honored by the ancestors, the now, and the descendants. In gratitude of the makers, mother, Father, God, in all your names, we are honored with this opportunity to experience the gift of life. Just breathing with all that.
in gratitude of the guides, teachers, divinity, nature, archetypes, allies, friends. We are honored with the wisdom, understanding, and patience. In gratitude of ourselves, heart, mind, body, soul. Mm -hmm. We are honored with this chance to serve the highest good of all. Mm. Reading all of that gratitude, all that honoring, that recognition. Mm. This morning when I was not sleeping, <laughs> I was lying there and I was um, breathing the heart breath and I was feeling my flame, my inner heart flame. And I was feeling it as the sun as a burning sun and it's little compared to our sun that this planet moves around but still it's the burning bright sun within me and so I want to invite us all this morning to envision your inner sun not just a flame but a sun a burning strong globe of fire and just breathe into that place Notice as you identify your love and how that feels and what that is for you, you can pour that into that sun. And notice what happens. Maybe it shifts colors, maybe it glows brighter. Notice how that sun warms your entire being. The sun gives you the mm, fire, the, the motivation to be you. And now envision the sun in the center of the earth, the earth's inner sun. And feel what that feels like, not just the heart, but the sun of the earth, the flame at the center that animates this whole biosphere, this whole planetary body. And connect your flame, your sun, your heat, your warmth to that. Breathing with the double heart. Earth heart, elf heart. Drawing your attention to the sun that our planet turns around. Connecting to that sun, the outer sun that provides the warmth for this planet, helps the plants to grow, to nourish us, to breathe with us. Connect in and breathe in that essence. It's 
It's almost like each of these suns are beads on a strand. And as you connect in with each one and breathe with each one, they connect on the strand. So we can breathe with our sun and the sun of the earth, and the sun of the solar system. And connect into the sun of the galaxy. However that appears or feels or is for you. Feeling the connection it brings to all the stars that we share this galaxy with, all the planets, all the moons, all the space we spin around this heart of the galaxy with. Just breathe down this knowing. To mix in with your sun, your heat, your essence. Notice how it grows as you add a bead to each <laughs> of the strand that you're creating. Your own light grows. To bring your attention to the sun at the heart of the cosmos. That center point that all the galaxies and stars and planets and moons and life are turning around with that sun, that heart point, that center point. Feel that immensity and intelligence. Feel how connecting in with that sun at the center of our cosmos makes each of the others brighter, not just your own. Breathe with that heart essence of the cosmos, feeling it, knowing it, being embraced by it. Now let's bring our awareness to that heart of the divine and the sun that burns bright within that heart of the divine, however it appears to you. And connect your flame through the heart of the earth and the sun and the galaxy and the cosmos to the heart of the divine. And perhaps even now take this beautiful strand of beads that you've strong and put it around your neck as a reminder of this connection. As you sit and commune with the divine, receiving whatever there is to share with you today, whatever message, whatever prayer. And in the space of the next 40 minutes, if that prayer needs to be spoken, and go ahead and unmute yourself and speak the prayer. And as I always say, if we breathe together for the next 40 minutes, what a gift that is.
This is Anita. And I have a very unique one today for everyone. Uh, it just as a little background, I once was a partnership with a friend who worked with dragon magic and dragons and taught me much. I even collected my own. <clears throat> and yesterday they returned in a situation that uh, is very important to what it was, but it doesn't matter at this moment. The dragons that came first were Shadow, as I named him. He's a black dragon. Silver, a silver dragon. And then came two more, one blue and one green, and they called themselves the Solaris Twins, or whatever that means. And this is what they gave me to share with everyone. See with the eyes of a dragon, look therein to the dark spaces and where light glows in sunlight. Look as a dragon where all glittering treasures that are detailing and with aspects of truth and each one part of a dream. Walk with a grace and courage and moving wisdom of a dragon. Feel the nuances of the earth globe connecting as you step upon in 4-4 four, four rhythms. Feel the power of the magical vision and with true and imaginary flight to fantasy and reality worlds, both within your reach and willpower to access. Let our strongest flight muscles carry you up from the fears, the worries, the illness, the daily stresses, for even a short time. Our gossamer scaled wings are powerful enough to hold you in whatever form you choose to wear upon such a promised path into the stars that shine upon your reality. Let each one of the stars be a reminder of the promises, your guides, your allies, and those like us have sung to you in your dream time and sometimes in waking real time. We shall carry each one closer to the realms where fire is both blistering or freezing. Collect now the brightest promising stars that call to your heart. Some may shout for attention, for they carry incredible truth that you are needing just now in your weary world. There are some whose dimmer light becomes as whispers to the to become young ideas that can be gathered as genetics dictate and blossom into greater dreams that will come forth in right timing. There are so many more that are uh, inexplicable and soul recognition. Those stars you have known by many names in many times and spaces and left in their in our care where the loved ones who left life's tumultuous paths for these higher realms of light and love. Have you now filled your pockets, your bags, your baskets, or your hearts to overflowing with star fire, star ash, or the glimmering dust? Enough? We shall carry you back down from where your world awaits leaving you with the lick of a dragon tongue, a kiss for the remembering that love has more facets, facets than the most fabulous diamond. And each carrot, being a diamond carrot, belongs to the seeker whose cause is just, honest, and without self-judgment. Go now and walk with a reassurance that you may see with the eyes of a dragon love as powerfully as the heart shared between human and dragon ally and contemplate with the sword or pen of a mystic for all that is called fantasy 
for it is part and parcel of magic and magic is the greatest healer of all causes of ailments call upon the dragon realm if you so desire and your own personal beast will gladly come to play and guide you as you desire it so fear not our strange and mystical countenance for every one of our iridescent and multi-colored scales are equally shields that can protect as need be deemed at the time or space as it arises as a dreamer you may be as a dragon and the ways of causes as innumerable as the stars we've just gathered and held close to the heart once again we arrive and speak through our mystical human ally me <laughs> to offer our wisdom magical touches and the understanding of being a multidimensional soul as to remember those pieces into your mind and heart to be as a treasured secret you may forever own and carry in the most rightful way as befitting you dear one of mystical places so i hope you enjoyed that i love my dragons thank you
there's anyone who needs prayers, go ahead and put them in the chat box. This is Eric in Portland area. Gracious, loving God. Help me to align more, ever more closely to your purpose for me. May your love and light penetrate and we radiate out of all of us. We may help the world heal. That 
there could be harmony. The plants and animals could all of us come into a better balance. I pray for comfort for all those who are sick, nourishment for all of those who are hungry, comfort for all of those who are afflicted in so many ways. May we all come to bask in your goodness, your comfort, and your love. Amen. Whether this is your daughter's hour and to go. I find that I just keep arriving into what is again and again and again and again and again. And in this place of what is. Help me to find the strands of what was to weave into what will be. So that I can truly show up and be in service to myself, my community, to this world, to you, Creator. I feel this deep well of gratitude. This image of dipping the bucket down in that well of gratitude and pulling it up on the rope and taking the ladle and taking a deep, big drink of that gratitude. Creator, help us find our compassion for ourselves and each other. Help us find mercy and forgiveness for those we feel have wronged us or wronged something we love, someone we love. Help us Live two of your names, Arahman and Rahim. So that each of our choices and each of our moments align with truth, align with our purpose. 
align with the common good of all of us sharing this planetary sphere. And so just that today, just that, the gratitude, the request for your compassion and mercy and forgiveness, and also that you elicit those in me, those aspects, those qualities within me and within all of those who share this planet. in the place of this collective glow of our circle. To feel it infuse into all the need that's there. The healing for storm, for those who are walking with COVID and cancer and heart disease and diabetes and, and, and for those who are walking with those who are walking with those things. May this lip of light that's connected in on the strand of beads of suns, of brilliant suns, bring healing wherever it's needed in me, in you. And so with that, I give gratitude, I give thanks, I give appreciation, I give my presence and my service in this moment, on this day, and in this life. I mean. Um, last time we were talking about um, having a focus and it seemed like there was some interest in that. I didn't take it to, to our Facebook group and put it out there, but um, just wondering amongst us who are here now, how do you feel about February being about compassion? I think the, the two drips that I got in were like, First, you start with compassion, and then you go to forgiveness. First, compassion, then forgiveness, right? So how does that feel for you all? Sounds yes. good to me. Yes. All right. Well, where are we? Do we even have another one? We might have another January one. I'm not sure where we are in time and space right now. Where are we? Yeah, so <laughs> next week is the last one in January. Um, and then we'll start in February. And so let's just hold that in our hearts as we move through the next few weeks, um, that that first Sunday in February, we'll begin this kind of focus on compassion and our breathing can be on the compassion, our exploration, our conversation with the divine. Um, maybe even look for some writing that is about compassion that we can share with each other. Um, so, yay, yay. So February's compassion, and uh, and then yeah, maybe forgiveness is is uh, March, but we'll see. We'll get a little closer to March. All right, everybody. Thank you for you and everything you do. I certainly appreciate mm -hmm. lots and lots. And uh, thank you for holding space with us. Thank oh, you. You're welcome. Thank you for holding space with us too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of us. Yes. Our holding spaces. Yes, thank you. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you technology. Right? Gotta, gotta give the props to the technology. So, yay. Yeah. Next week. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Yes. All right. Bye, everybody. Have, Have a good. great week. You too. Bye. Stay right. well and safe. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs>